I'm Taylor. I am from Franklin, Tennessee, but I now live on the Loretta Lynn Ranch. I sing and tour, and we also have a farm and cows and horses and two kids, two sons. Scout is two and True is five, and I'm married to my husband, John Cody. Mom got married when I was um, seven years old to a man that she had known for a week, and he had just gotten out of jail. And the night that they got married, he punted me, kicked me down the hall. And I remember I I fell into my lamp, and I remember thinking, oh my gosh, what has just happened? Like, this is the start of something. I graduated high school, and I moved in with my other grandmother, Loretta. My grandfather had died, and so she and I moved to her house in Nashville. And I learned how to use her name. So that's where all the drugs, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. I mean, and it all went together, always. And so I lived fast, and I went hard. Just as, it was insanity. In 2004, weighed 82 pounds and had been to seven rehabs. And somebody shared with me, if you'll just hit your knees and ask God for help, he will help you. So I went to a little chapel at Cumberland Heights, and I hit my knees, and I just said, I want to be through. I want to be done, God. Please help me. And it was lifted. But after I'd been sober for eight years, um, I had my first son, True. And during the C-section, I got Vicodin. I took the Vicodin out like I was supposed to. But a couple months later, they wanted to put me on Adderall. And one Adderall led to one Adderall three times a day to six, 12 times a day. And I ended up moving to Seattle with my husband. And I would sit alone in that house in Seattle and take those Adderall and breastfeed my baby over and over and over again. And I would text with another man all day. I said I'd always known God, and I had, and I always knew he was there, but you push him away. Like, I can remember thinking, he can't see this. If I won't talk to him, then he can't see what I'm doing. But then one day, my husband found all the texts, found everything I'd been doing. And the game was up, and I had to go back to rehab and leave my 10-month-old son and wake up and go, oh my God, what have I been doing? What have I been doing? I started going to Compassion Church when we moved back here, and (sighs) you try so hard for so long to figure out what your purpose is, to figure out how to feel like a good person, to feel like a woman of integrity. (sighs) Today I do. So that's how compassion has changed me. It's helped lift me up to be the woman that I want my boys to see that I when I'm, I think about who I want my boys to marry I want to be that woman that sets the example for what I want them to have when I lay down at night and I haven't lied I haven't cheated I maybe spent too much money at Target but <laughs> my gosh it doesn't get any better than that I think that the difference in my compassion family and before my compassion family is that everyone is striving to have a closer connection with God. Everyone's striving to serve, to help the community. Half of us are recovering addicts. The other half are so fired up to be in a relationship with Jesus that we're just happy all the time and people don't know what to do about that. All of my friends are my compassion family. I I can't imagine that it's an accident that I'm more at peace today than I ever have been. I just, I just don't think, I call that a God, God. (laughs) I call that a God coincidence. Coincidence. 
coincidence. Leave that. <laughs>